In our last episode, which was number 48, we started an adventure in Charlevoix, traveling to Garden Island and then northwest to Manistique. In this episode, episode 49, join us as we continue our cruise to Snail Shell Harbor, but this time to meet up with the ICYC in Fayette. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave us a comment. We love comments. Bucket list leaves Manistique, sails south around the Garden Peninsula, and then north to Snail Shell Harbor into Fayette to meet with the ICYC. It is five o'clock in the morning, Monday. We are in Manistique, Michigan, and we are getting ready to uh, untie from the dock and head toward uh, Fayette, Michigan to meet with the ICYC. How far is Fayette? Uh, it's, this will be about 42 miles. That's why we're leaving so early. Tracy, any comments? Get your life jacket. All right. <laughs> what are those boats doing there, Trace? That's a small fishing boat going out there practicing for a big tournament out of Manistique next week. We're gonna have a lot of those to contend with early this morning. Now, if you look over across the way, you can see the launching ramp. A speeding fishing boat left enough of a wake that it caused us to momentarily touch the sawdust on the bottom of the river. Okay, this is Monday, July 24th, and we have just left Manistique, Michigan, and then we're on a 42 mile cruise down to Fayette. It is 6.15 in the morning. We left about an hour ago. We're motoring because there's very little wind. There is a bit of wave action. But we left at 5 in the morning so we could arrive at Fayette maybe around 1, 1 1.30. That's when we expect the rest of the ICYC to arrive. Tracy's down below, getting her breakfast. Can you guess what ICYC stands for? We're looking at the uh, western shore of Garden Peninsula. And there's these beautiful cliffs. And there's a structure or something there on the shore. And I'll be done if I know what it is. And it's intriguing. some wide open water from Manistique to Fayette. There you're seeing the tip of uh, the Garden Peninsula where Fayette is located. You see some windmills. Maybe you can see the red buoy up there. We got to go up that far. That's where we make our right hand turn. There's that red buoy where we're making our right hand turn. meeting our friends from the ICYC here. There's at least three other boats. I'm not sure how many. We came across Lake Michigan from Charlevoix. It's at Belle Bouy. Coming into Fayette, um, the hills wrap around you. It's like entering a snail shell almost. You're very protected from the wind and weather. From this aerial view, you can easily see how Snail Shell Harbor got its name. Don't have sight of those docks yet, there's not many of them. There's a building. A couple of buildings. Or maybe a really large building, I can't quite tell yet. This is really one really large building. Huh. 
start to get our first view of the docks. Looks pretty empty at the moment. The ICYC has taken over Snail Shell Harbor at Fayette. Five boats here and they're all part of our club, almost. Benediction, not quite yet, but if we can find some ice cream, they may become our newest members. Three of these couples we met 13 years ago in the North Channel. That's got to be one of the benefits of living on a cruising sailboat, making long-term friends. Absolutely. And here's the, the uh, marina. And you can see two boats from the ICYC. Uh, I think we're about the only people left. Yeah? Yeah, look at that. They're all, the rest are gone. But anyway, summer break and for sale. And bucket list. And benediction. Away in the corner, Southern Bell. Thank you for hoist, hosting this yes. gathering. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Well, okay. He has a toaster. I love it. But I want to toast our outboard engines for getting us here on our sailboat. Yeah. 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 Don't turn us into stink pots. They're little, there. They're little boom, boom, outboard boom. motors. They, we made it. We Didn't made I say it. that in the text message to somebody? Thank, thank God for internal you combustion. Sure. Yes. It's, it's taken right now. Yes. Looks like it's time for ice cream. <laughs> and since we've all sailed here and we're having ice cream, looks like Dave, Nancy, and Gracie are the newest members of the Ice Cream Yacht Club. Congratulations! Yay. So now you know you're right about what ICYC stands for. Madison. Guys, this is plausible deniability. <laughs> we weren't here. Never. No, we weren't here. <laughs> this is a view of Snail Shell Harbor as seen from the bluffs above Fayette. If you look closely out there, you can almost see that red bell buoy. So we're looking at the town of Fayette. Back it was, was heyday was in 1867 through about 1900. There's the superintendent's house, swinging on around past the marina. Large stone building straight ahead was the company store, and there you're seeing the smelters, and then this is the deep harbor they use for the ships. You can see some of the pilings still in the water, but the depth was really good because they would load, load they would load those ships with uh, pig iron, take down to Gary or Chicago. One of the nation's premier historic company town sites can be found at the tip of the Garden Peninsula in Fayette Historic State Park. Little iron smelting town helped transform America between 1867 and 1891. If history isn't your motivation to stop, enjoy the recreational opportunities in the 711-acre park that wraps around Snail Shell Harbor off Lake Michigan's Big Baby Knock. The serene town site overlooking Snail Shell Harbor is a far cry from Fayette's booming days when noise Acrid smells and billowing smoke filled the soot blackened air. The town's founder, Fayette Brown, strategically chose this site for an iron smelting operation in 1867. Fayette had limestone in its cliffs, purified molten iron, and hardwood forests to make the charcoal needed to fire the furnaces. In its 
its heyday, the charcoal pig iron from Fayette was considered some of the best in the country. But with new methods for making coke iron and steel, this company town closed down in 1891. It sits to this day, stuck in time, full of folklore and mystery. On leaving Fayette and our friends in the ICYC, we sail south around Garden Peninsula and then head east 80 miles, some 14 and a half hours, across Lake Michigan and go in between the Fox Islands and on to Charlevoix. Okay, we just left Fayette. We're following our breadcrumbs down to Summer Island. We found it extremely difficult to follow our breadcrumbs in pitch dark out of that curvy exit from Snail Shell Harbor. Why is it so dark behind you? Because we left about 4.30 or 45 a.m. And we hope to make sure all the way around 7 p.m. tonight. It's 637. Is this about a two-hour wiggle factor before dark? Yeah. And we think right now the winds are under what they were forecast. They're two knots from the south. They were forecast at eight from the south. That's true. The true velocity of the wind is 2.5 knots. This is Wednesday, July 26th. And we are returning from our trip to Fayette, Michigan, straight to Charlevoix, Michigan. We've come about uh, 40 miles, we have about 30 miles to go. Wind has been 10 to 15 knots the whole time. This is a uh, Fox Island kind of looks like Jurassic Park. Looking at this aerial view of South Fox Island looks to me like those bluffs look like the eyes of the fox. It's Fox Island and you can't see it yet but to the north over Tracy's head is North Fox Island. We're coming due we're going due east, straight into Charlevoix. So once we pass these two islands, again, it should be a straight passage you know, to the lighthouse, to the uh, lighthouse in Charlevoix. To the north is the Beaver Island, probably about 15 miles north of here, but you can't see it in the mist. So about seven, p.m. after 80 miles heading east from Fayette, we finally see Charlevoix. It was a fairly rough crossing. We did have some rain, but we made it. The site of the drawbridge at Charlevoix ends episode 49. That's our two-part episode as we visited Fayette. We've really enjoyed making these two videos. We hope you enjoy watching them. If you have, or if you do, please like and, subscri and subscribe, and do leave comments. We do love comments.